thought I'd show you some spots on the chart plotter. Let's have a look. where I am at the moment. There's Hyth Pier here. I'm just fishing in here. To be fair, I probably could have come in a little bit shallower. <coughs> but that's those ones there. I was fishing up here, to, up by Gimp Boy to start with, where all the flou uh, flounders, uh, white in dogs, pow, bass were. And then I snuck in, just over here is another, this is where I've had flounder before, up around here, Dibden Bay, North End. <coughs> so, there's Gimp Elbow. But yeah, so I've snuck in. So I've snuck in here. Not very deep, don't want to be very deep. And the ideal bottom really you want to find is sort of like mud. A little bit of gravel, but mud is primarily. I'm probably a little bit too far out here to be fair. I could have gone in a little bit closer. But I've had quite a few, once again, bass here. But yeah, there's Southampton water up through here there's dock head going up the itching and then if you as I say if you carry on up further you'll go up past uh, up into the river test so but yeah it's not too bad we've had quite a few fish today um let's go home again and then we can go on the 3d chart So this is this is the Garmin XSV eighty four ten. Yeah, it's an amazing bit of kit. So you can go up like this. As we say, we're panning around a little bit. Three D contours and everything you can get. So we can go across there. All oh, that's Western Shore through there, and it shows you sort of, sort of like all the all the depth contours and everything, where it goes down into the channel. But yeah, this is a nice bit of kit. Uh, just recently, I've just fitted. The old Garmin uh, card reader <clears throat> so that's the Garmin chart and that's your so uh, everything I can record onto the second USB uh, sorry chart uh, card card uh, which is a micro one but obviously it's got the adapter so that's in there uh, like I said before I've got the remote for it so I can sit back here and just play around And I can go around like that. So yeah, incredible bit of kit. But yeah, so basically Southampton water gives you everything that you want. It's all good. You know, cod in the winter when they're there, sort of like Greenland boy, hound boy, anywhere like that. Go on to the fishing chart again. That gives you, you know, where it goes down into the channel and everything. Let's pan out a bit so you can see. It's absolutely lightning, lightning quick. There are South Brambles there.
West Ride Middle, another good spot for cod. Go back to home again. Then we got sounder, sonars. Got traditional. Clear view, side view, obviously you got all your split and zooms and everything, split frequencies, so you can change your kilohertz and everything, so yeah it's an amazing bit of kit, not cheap, all your combos, Zoom in and out on here for your chart plotter, side view, sonar, traditional. Smart modes, you've got cruising, docking, anchoring, fishing. Press the favourites there, there you go. You can uh, connect to your active captain. Active captain, vessel, video. I can connect all cameras to it if I wish, which I will be doing at a later date. But yeah, so it is an incredible bit of kit to be fair. Highly, highly recommend it. As I say, not just that, uh, which I've showed you before. Basically, I've got all the Axiom screens, the Raymarine screens. They pretty much do everything that the uh, Garmin does. I've got a day and night camera on the front. I've got autopilot as well. The EV100, Fusion. So yeah, um, RMK10s there, I've got one for each screen. I've got uh, twin card readers, one for each screen. Just saves me trying to get into the back and changing cards and updating and stuff like that. So, but yeah, radar obviously. Rain ring quantum there, loud hailers, AIS 650, class B. And she's all powered by the old. Uh, Mariner Bigfoot 60, which to be fair is absolutely faultless. I've got a Mariner 4 four stroke auxiliary. But there, yeah, this all up here basically is a separate console. So I've got my nav lights wired into this, shows me voltage again. But yeah, uh, I like this as well. So if I'm panning out and zooming around and that, this still stays in the same place where I am here on this here, so I always know where I am in the small little screen in the bottom here. Yeah, nice bit of kit. Highly recommend it. Garmin XSV8410 chart. I can link a radar into it, everything I want. I can I can link everything into it. Uh, but obviously I need a Garmin HD dome to be able to do that. But yeah, um, faultless, rain, rain, axioms, faultless, everything's all good. But I just thought I'd show you a bit of the Garmin XSV.